Classmates, it's me, Maikin, and this time, pag-usapan natin yung LCM and GCF. Actually, maraming paraan to solve for LCM and GCF. Pero for this video, we will focus on continuous division method. To do that, dapat master ka na sa divisibility rules. Kung hindi pa, maglalagay ako ng review links dun sa ating description box. Panoorin mo yung mga videos na yun, ha? Also, makakatulong din kung familiar ka sa pag-solve ng LCM at GCF using listing method. So, ganun din. Lalagay ko sa description box yung links para doon. Sa palang paalala, ang mag-subscribe ay makakaset ng new high score sa kanilang online game. At ang mag-skip naman ng ads ay mapapanot at makakalbo before 18 years old. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> Ready ka na? Tara, perfectin natin yung math quiz mo. Ang GCF at LCM ay laging tinuturo side by side kasi halos similar yung way kung paano sila isolve. By the way, GCF means greatest common factor at LCM naman means least common multiple. Let us have our first example. Find the GCF and LCM of 20 and 30. So, madali lang muna. Two digits or two numbers lang muna tayo. So, sulat natin dito yung ating given. Then, isiping mabuti. Meron bang number na pwedeng i-divide sa 20 at 30 tapos wala kang magiging remainder? Diyan papasok yung divisibility rules natin, ha? So, kung meron, i-drawing natin ito. Then, lagay natin sa labas yung common number na yun. In this case, we have 2. So, pag dinivide natin, we have 20 divided by 2, ang sagot ay 10. So, isusulat natin siya sa baba ng 20. Again, ulitin natin. 30 divided by 2 is 15. So, isulat natin dito sa ilalim ng 30. Then, uulitin lang natin yung ginawa nating steps kanina. So, meron pa bang number na pwedeng i-divide kay 10 at 15 tapos walang remainder? Yes, pareho silang divisible by 5. So, ulitin natin. 10 divided by 5 is 2. So, sulat natin siya sa ilalim. Next, 15 divided by 5 is 3. Then, isipin natin ulit. Meron pa bang number na pwedeng i-divide kay 2 at 3? Meron, pero 1 na lang, ba? So, kung ang tanging number na natitira ay 1, then we can stop na and find our GCF. So, to find the GCF, tingnan lang itong side na to. Yung nasa kaliwa. Then, multiply lang natin siya. So, our GCF is 2 times 5 or 10. Ganun lang kadali. We can now proceed to find our LCM. So, to do that, similar siya kay GCF. Pero instead na ito lang, yung titingnan natin, eh, isasama natin to. So, di ba, LCM, para siya malaking letter L. Then, multiply din natin. So, our LCM is 2 times 5 times 2 times 3. Or, 60. Yan lang. Di ba, sobrang dali. Paano naman kung hindi 2 yung una mong ginamit na number? So, sige, explore natin yan. Again, our given is 20 and 30. So, anong number kaya yung pwede nating i-divide sa kanilang dalawa? Tapos, walang remainder. Yes, pwedeng gamitin yung 5. So, 20 divided by 5 is 4. Then, 30 divided by 5 will give us 6. Then, isip tayo, how about for 4 and 6? Yes, pwede natin silang i-divide by 2. So, 4 divided by 2 will give us 2. And 6 divided by 2 will give us 3. How about 2 at 3? Diba, 1 na lang? So, again, kung 1 na lang yung natitira, then we can find our GCF. At tulad nung ginawa natin kanina, to find the GCF, tingnan lang itong nasa left side. Then, we have to multiply it. So, our GCF is 5 times 2 or 10. Kung mapapansin, pareho lang nang naging sagot dun sa una nating solution. 
So, walang kaso kung inuna mo yung 5 and then next mo yung 2. How about kung LCM naman? So, try it din natin ha. Again, for LCM, ito yung imumultiply natin. So, that is 5 times 2 times 2 times 3 or 60. Again, pareho lang ng sagot. So, walang kaso yun. What if naman, hindi mo rin ginamit yung 5 at 2? So, di ba, we have 20 and 30. Example, ang ginamit mo, let's say 10. Possible ba yun? Let's check. 20 divided by 10 is 2. 30 divided by 10 is 3. By now, alam na natin na stop na tayo pag 2 at 3 kasi 1 na lang yung common na pwedeng i-divide sa kanila. So, we can now start with our GCF. Since mag na lang itong 10 sa ating left side, then automatic, yan na yung GCF natin. Hindi na natin kailangan mag-multiply pa. At kung mapapansin nyo, pareho na naman siya dun sa ating first solution. Try din natin kung uubra tong technique na to sa LCM. So, ito yung imumultiply natin, di ba? We have 10 times 2 times 3 or 60. So, parehod ulit. So, take note, walang kaso kahit anong number yung una mong gamitin to divide. Wala ding problema kahit malaki o maliit na number yung gusto mo. Basta make sure tama yung pagdi-divide mo. Also, kung mapapansin nyo, mukhang ladder yung mga letter L natin. That's why sometimes ang tawag sa continuous division method ay ladder method. Level up tayo. This time, let us solve three numbers. So, find the GCF and LCM of 12, 36, and 48. Again, sulat natin dito ha. Then, mag-isip. Ano kayang number yung pwedeng i-divide sa 12, 36, at 48 tapos walang magiging remainder? Yes, lahat sila divisible by 2. So, sulat natin yun dun sa ating left side. Then, parang yung kanina lang. So, 12... Divided by 2 is 6. Lagi natin sa baba. 36 divided by 2 is 18. And 48 divided by 2 is 24. Then, meron pa bang pwedeng gamitin para pang divide sa 6, 18, na 24? Mm -hmm. Lahat sila divisible by 2. So, 6 divided by 2 is 3. 18 Divided by 2 is 9. 24 divided by 2 is 12. Pwede pa bang i-divide sa isang number yung 3, 9, at 12? Yes, possible pa. So, ang haba na ng ladder natin, di ba? Kasi divisible din siya by 3. So, 3 divided by 3 is 1. 9 divided by 3 is 3. And 12 divided by 3 is 4. Ngayon, isipin, meron pa bang pwedeng i-divide sa 1, 3, at 4? Diba, wala na except sa 1. So, kapag 1 na lang, then stop na tayo and we can now find the GCF. So, in finding the GCF, tingnan lang itong left side. Then, multiply natin sila. So, our GCF is 2 times 2 times 3 or 12. LCM naman. Pag LCM, hindi lang yung gilid yung imumultiply, kundi pati yung nasa baba. So, we have 2 times 2 times 3 times 1 times 3 times 4, which is equal to 144. Classmates, don't skip ADSA. Salamat! Isa pa, find the GCF and LCM of 90, 135, and 150. So, sulat natin dito. Then isipin, ano kaya yung pwede nating i-divide sa tatlong numbers na to tapos walang magiging remainder after? Yes, 5. So, 90 divided by 5 is 18. 135 divided by 5 is 27. 150 divided by 5 is 30. Next naman, we have 18, 27, and 30. Ano kaya yung pwede nating i-divide sa kanilang tatlo? Yes, 3. So, 18 divided by 3 is 6. 
27 divided by 3 is 9. At 30 divided by 3 is 10. Then, tingnan naman natin yung 6, 9, at 10. Ano pa kaya yung pwedeng i-divide sa tatlong numbers na ito? Diba? 1 na lang. So, in short, we can now solve for the GCF. To do that, tingnan natin itong nasa left side. Then, multiply lang natin. So, our GCF is 5 times 3 or 15. After nyan, we can proceed to our LCM. So, balikan natin itong 6, 9, at 10. Meron pa bang pwedeng i-divide sa kanila? Mm -hmm, wala na. Pero kung titing ng maigi, itong 6 at 9 ay parehong divisible by 3. Ito namang 6 at 10, divisible by 2. So guys, pwede nating i-continue yung ating division. Pero take note, pwede lang gawin tong by parts kung hindi nauubra yung isang grupo sila o yung tatluhan. So kunyari, pinili natin yung 6 at 9. Yan ay divisible by 3. So 6 divided by 3 is 2. 9 divided by 3 is 3. Pero ito, tingnang mabuti, classmates ha. Diba yung 10 divided by 3, hindi possible kasi merong remainder 1? So kapag kaganyan, ibibring down lang natin yung 10. Then, continue na tayo ulit. Meron pa bang pwedeng i-divide sa 2, 3, at 10? Mm -hmm. Yung 2 at 10, pareho yung divisible by 2. So, 2 divided by 2 is 1. 3 divided by 2, diba, cannot be. So, if we bring down lang din natin itong 3. Then, 10 divided by 2 is 5. Since wala ng common number na pwedeng i-divide sa 1, 3, at 5, then we can solve for our LCM. So, multiply lang natin lahat ng ito. We have 5 times 3 times 3 times 2 times 1 times 3 times 5 or 1,350. Panis, ba? Kaya ultimate level up tayo. Find the GCF and LCM of 4 numbers. So we have 16, 24, 40, and 12. Actually, halos same lang din naman yan. Kaya huwag ka masyadong papanginig. So, ano kayang number yung pwede nating i-divide kay 16, 24, 40, at 12? Yes, we have 4. So, 16 divided by 4 is 4. 24 divided by 4, 6. 40 divided by 4, that's 10. Yung 12 naman divided by 4, 3. So, tinan. 4, 6, 10, at 3. Meron pa bang pwedeng i-divide sa kanilang apat? Take note ha, sa kanilang apat. Mm -hmm. Diba, one na lang? So, in short, we can now solve for our GCF. In this case, tingnan natin yung nasa left side. Diba, mag-isang number na lang to? So, no need na to multiply. Ang GCF natin ay 4. Very easy, very panis. <laughs> Next, let us look for our LCM. So, balikan natin itong numbers na to. We have 4, 6, 10, at 3. Diba, sabi natin kanina, 1 na lang yung pwedeng i-divide sa kanila as one group. Pero, kung titingnan, itong 6 at 3 ay parehong divisible by 3. Ito namang 4, 6, at 10 ay divisible by 2. So, again, pwede tayong mamili. Pero, kailangan natin piliin yung mas maraming numbers na pwedeng i-divide. So, in this case, di ba, tatlo yung 4, 6, at 10. So, yan yung uunahin natin. 4, 6, and 10 is divisible by 2. So, 4 divided by 2 is 2. 6 divided by 2 is 3. 10 divided by 2 is 5. And, tingnan ito mabuti ha. 3 divided by 2, di ba, cannot be. So, bring down lang natin yung 3. Next, meron pa bang pwedeng i-divide na common number sa 2, 3, 5, at 3? Yes, yung 3 at 3, parehong divisible yan by 3. 2 divided by 3 cannot be. So, bring down lang natin itong 2. 3 divided by 3, that's 1. Yun namang 5 divided by 3 cannot be ulit. So, bring down lang natin si 5. 
Then, 3 divided by 3, that's 1. Since wala ng common sa 2, 1, 5 at 1, then we can now stop and get our LCM. So, multiply natin to lahat ha. We have 4 times 2 times 3 times 2 times 1 times 5 times 1 or 240. And that is our final answer. Try it! Ready ka na bang patunayan na mabangis ka sa math? What is the GCF and LCM of 18, 15, and 24? Comment down below. Sana marami kang natutunan sa video na ito. Until next time, bye! Thank you.